It's revealed why Atiku vowed to remove Tinubu from Asorok. Why? Okay, why will Atiku vow to remove Tinubu from Asorok? What are the dragon? The truth here is that these people are not, uh, you know, they are not, uh, um, I don't know what a dragon, I know they were friends before, but the truth is that the way Tinubu scuttled the election and the way things are going shows that uh, <laughs> Tinubu did not get it clean, and that is why these troubles are here. I neck did a foul play, that is why the troubles are here. But again, let's find out what Atiku has to say if he has any reason to remove Tinubu from office. Critics of former President Waziri Atiku Abubakar have been bewildered by his unrelenting resolve to see that President Tinubu's presidency is annulled. Now, while a majority of Nigerians may believe that Atiku is on a wild goose chase, some others share the school of thought that former Vice President Atiku Abubakar must be in the purview of some dark secrets about President Bola Tinubu that that others did not know about and it's possible niger news or uh, nine news nigeria continued its investigation into the reason behind Atiku's unrelenting determination to see to the annulment of INEX february 25 2023 presidential election result that declared bola Tinubu as the winner facts were revealed about the reasons behind Atiku's tenacious willpower and ambition to remove Tinubu from power and probably take over. It is ostensibly obvious that Atiku believes Tinubu does not qualify to sit in the highest political position in Nigeria, alleging his lack of integrity and dark past. So in order to unravel some hidden facts, Nine News Nigeria traced the matter to the beginning of Bola Ahmed Tinubu's parley with the legal uh, corridors and the involvement of Atiku in the whole process, both in open and secret places. In 1999, late legal luminary and human rights lawyer Gani Fawemi filed a court order to compel security operatives to investigate criminal allegations against Tinubu, okay, who was the governor of Lagos State at that time. In the court uh, document, Fawemi had filed an order of mandamus praying the court to compel uh, security operatives to investigate the allegations against Tinubu, who had earlier been declared by the Lagos House of Assembly. Tinubu had claimed to have lost his certificates in his filings, and the Independent National Electoral Commission uh, filings. So, for me, requested the court to compel security operatives to investigate these allegations. The court document stated that Tinubu had made false statements on oath and false declarations on that oath. The court ruled that Tinubu, as a sitting governor, could not be tried due to his immunity from prosecution. The appeal court upheld this decision. However, Fawemi pursued the case to the Supreme Court, which ruled that Tinubu could be investigated by the police and tried after his tenure despite his immunity. Satiku was the vice president when Gandhi Fawemi submitted the petition against Bola Tinubu following a Supreme Court ruling that though Tinubu has then, as then the governor of Lagos State, enjoyed immunity from prosecution, he could be prosecuted by the police over the allegation and tried after his tenure. So those were the issues around uh, that Gandhi Fawemi put forward. So what we're seeing here, uh, the petition sought the intervention of the federal government to investigate allegations that bordered around legal issues surrounding Bola and Metinubu's identity and authenticity of his educational qualifications and his criminal record in the USA. The federal government of Nigeria has to be involved in such an investigation that could involve Interpol and the United States Federal Bureau of Investigation. Ganifao emits numerous petitions were meant to be sent to the President Olusik Nambasanjo but the matter was diverted to the office of the Vice President Alaji Atiku Abubakar to handle. So the office of the Vice President then sent orders to Inspector General of Police to investigate the issues raised in the allegation, which included Bola Ahmed Tinubu's identity as a descendant of the Tinubu family, the authenticity of his um, educational qualification, and his criminal record in the USA. So these were all allegations that Bola Tinubu had served prison 
Okay, there were also allegations that Bola Tinubu had said prison terms in the USA, which was why he was out of the public eye for five years. Oh boy. So the Inspector General of Police there was IGP Musilio Smith, who gave instruction to the AIG controlling Lagos State and other high-ranking officers who were involved in the investigation. Reports of the investigation with the findings, both from international and local, were submitted to the IGP and Vice President Tiku Abubakar. But somehow the case was turned down after several meetings between the investigating officers and Bola Metinubu. So in the course of the investigation against Bola Ahmed Tinubu, Atiku became very much aware of every detail of the allegation leveled against Tinubu himself. So Ganifa Emil lost the case against Tinubu then, but Vice President Tiku Abubakar was not satisfied with the outcome of the matter, citing heaps of evidence against uh, the accused. So Ganifa Emil's persistence to further the case was unsuccessful due to Tinubu's immunity as governor at the time. He could not be tried. So the Supreme Court ruled that he could be investigated by the police and tried after leaving uh, office. But now as a president, can he still be tried? That is the question that is yet to be answered. Okay. Knowing that the matter was among party candidates uh, and within the Lagos State political space, Atiku didn't have reason to interfere with the case any further. AIG Rewana Kiolu, who later became the Oba of Lagos, oh, okay, during Bola Metinubu's tenure as Lagos State Governor, was forced to retire from the police force by the Obasanjo Atiku administration. The event that Oba Kiolu later accused Atiku Abubaka of being the mastermind of his induced retirement. So, what I'm seeing here from this write up in the case that Atiku has privileged information, investigative document on Tinubu. That is it. At 1999, when Ganifa was, uh, you know, pr trying to prosecute him and urging security agencies and federal government to investigate him. So, there's much more that Atiku knows about Tinubu that we don't know as a public uh, individuals. And I'm sure with all this record in his hand, Atiku has very serious case to make against uh, Tinubu because the evidences are obviously with him. And trust Atiku, he must have kept that document somewhere and be taking things out of the document one by one. This is a very serious situation and this could be the reason that Atiku is hell-bent on making sure that Tinubu does not sit there because his records are very dirty and most likely, obviously, Atiku had a copy of the investigation report that was done on Tinubu in 1999 and has all the details. So he knows more than we know, I'm pretty sure. Even though he could not prosecute him that time because he was a governor, now uh, he's a president, can he be prosecuted? It's a serious matter. And that is why probably he wants to deal with it from international, uh, international level so that it can have the meaning and the impact it's expected to have. So thank you for listening and let's have your comments.